Okay, this is a video to show the removal of a section of baseboard heating. In this case, due to a remodeling project, this has to come out. So it's one straight eight foot section. My plan is to use this cutter on this end and to use the torch on the other end. Now, I should say before doing this, you want to drain out the water from this zone. And in my case, I have multiple zones, three zones of heating, one zone of indirect water tank heating. But I do have isolation valves so that this zone is completely isolated and the uh, drain valve or bleeder um, tap or faucet, whatever you want to call it, for that zone is open and I have a hose connected to it and it's going into a sink downstairs. So this is open, it's been draining. Now, there are no bleeder valves on this, on any of my hydronics which means that the water does not drain out easily even though it would want to due to gravity because there's no way for air to dis to get in here except for like it would if you took a straw put it into water put your finger over it and lift it up the water is trapped in the straw but it probably won't stay there forever over time air possibly can move up when you're draining this out that way, you don't really know how much water might be left in here. Now, I have to cut this on this end because I can't use the torch on this end, and that is because the amount of clearance I have on this is less than the uh, half inch or three quarters of an inch of overlap in this solder joint. It's only going up about a quarter of an inch. Okay, so I don't have an option. If I was going to reuse all of this and take this out and then just put back in the exact same location and I had a venting valve or bleeder valve on this, then possibly I could, if it were drained out and the bleeder valve was there, I could possibly heat this, melt the solder because any water inside could escape through that. Okay, but in this case, I'm not planning on reusing this, and I don't have a bleeder valve. So I don't have that option. The reason is because this hydronic zone, it runs across this board, then it goes down in, and then it pops up again over on the other side of that hallway, which means that there's a section running down beneath here which wouldn't drain anyway, even if there were a bleeder valve that would not drain out of where the um, drain is down in the basement. So that would be a source of water, which is just going to prevent this probably from uh, desoldering it, even if I could lift it, okay? And I can't, so in this case, it's easy. What I'm using here is this um, low, this, this cutter, which has, which claims, according to the advertising, about a half inch clearance, okay? I have larger cutters, they won't work on this because they require quite a bit of clearance for a three-quarter inch pipe. The mini cutter does not go up to a three-quarter inch pipe. And of course, I could cut this with a hacksaw, I could cut it with a reciprocating saw, I could use a cutoff disc, okay? I've, all, I've done all of that in the past. But for this particular project, I did buy this uh, tight space three-quarter inch copper tubing cutter. It's very specific for doing probably this hydronic work where you do have tight spaces, you do have three-quarter copper. I wanted to get a nice clean cut. Mostly I wanted to have this for, because I will have other work that I have to do in this whole uh, um, retro, this, um, this remodel. I will have other work on the hydronics that I'm gonna have to be doing and I will be in tight spaces. And so rather than use what I have used in the past, which is just the cutoff wheel, I decided to go with this, okay? I do need two hands because the clearance is, is tight. It's actually touching this. If I lift it up, I can get a little bit of clearance. I can turn this, but I can't do it with one hand. So I'm gonna use pause. I've already started it, and you can kind of see the cut. It seems to, seems to be working. Okay, if you can hear that, 
there's a hissing sound. There's no water coming out, but air is going in. Even though this has been sitting for several days with the tap open downstairs, it's still the case that when I finally punctured this, um, air came into the system, which means water is probably now draining down through the hose. Um, fortunately, I did not have a backup of water. Nothing's actually coming out here, so I'm just going to wait for the hissing noise to subside, and then I'll just continue through with this cut. Okay, I'm not all the way through, but I'm getting through it. I did take the cutter off, and I turned it around because in one direction, I kind of felt that it was get, it was binding up and wasn't, wasn't wanting to turn. I will say that this soldering job was probably not a, a fantastic job in the sense that you can kind of see plumbers usually are to try to be neat. But in this case, the, you know, they're, they did not wipe this joint down. So the solder is a little irregular. The cutter should make it through that, but I'm just running it through back and forth and reversing it just to make try to get through a clean cut okay here I have cut through but not all the way through and I do have water that is basically weeping out and I'm collecting it with this um, rag and I didn't know exactly how much water might come out of this because even though this ozone is isolated and the drain is open downstairs because there's no bleed you know there could be water yeah. in this pipe here already left over from like whatever exactly and so anyway i'm just going to collect it with this rag until until this zone runs dry i don't know i'll see how much i collect well okay i've collected all the water that's been weeping out here and you can see that it amounts to i don't know a couple of cups of water I started off with a paper towel, but I realized it was more than that. But it did eventually stop coming up, so I guess this run, even though I thought it might drain down into the basement, there was still a significant amount of water here that's draining out to this point. I'm going to continue to cut now through it. I haven't finished it yet because of the, I wanted to wait until the water stopped coming out just to minimize the wetness on the floor. Okay, I finally cut through it. It was not a clean cut, and I'm, I must say I'm not happy with this cutter. One thing is because if you look at the, uh, the, the cutting wheel, is actually damaged, and it didn't cut true. It was actually cutting it in a spiral. <clears throat> and um, after I was having trouble, I tried oiling it, but by then, the damage was done. I, I couldn't get this on the clean cut. I ended up finishing it off with a hacksaw blade. <clears throat> you can see the water is right up to that level, okay? Um, as I expected it would be. All the water from here it didn't drain downstairs. And I had enough of it draining in here. Now, I can take this off, and I should be able to desolder it out the other end, but I'm going to make that a part two because